Among the most reviewed vehicles on YouTube in 2024, Hyundai's new Santa Fe looks like being a huge hit. If you're considering buying one, our exclusive data will help you decide. But first, smash that subscribe button, like, comment, and buckle up. We now consider the Santa Fe to be among the leaders in the seven-seater SUV class. On a global level, however, it's up against stiff competition from new arrivals like the Skoda Kodiak and the refreshed Kia Sorento. Having gained 10 centimeters in length over the last gen Santa Fe, its wheelbase is also up by five centimeters, while ground clearance is now only half an inch less than a Toyota Land Cruiser. In most markets, seven seats are standard, although six-seater and even five-seater variants are available in mainland Europe. Luggage space is up by over 91 liters compared to previously. Disappointingly, however, in most markets, hybrid models do without a space saver spare wheel. Recent reviews have praised the hybrid petrol engine's refinement in both city and highway driving. However, with 0 to 62 times of barely less than 10 seconds, the focus is on comfort and not sporty driving. Choosing wheel sizes of 18 or 20 inches is optimal, according to testers, while the Santa Fe's high driving position and physical controls have also been praised. The Santa Fe's rear tailgate design, whilst controversial, gives an aperture opening unrivaled in its class. Inside, testers have waxed lyrical about Land Rover-esque quality fabrics and controls, while third-row seats can accommodate even adults on longer journeys. Offering both self-charging and plug-in hybrid options, North American customers also have the option of a 2.5-litre four-cylinder, which is well-liked by testers for power. All engines, including both 1.6-litre hybrid models, are turbocharged. Reliability is yet unproven on this new model. However, the recall details shown here, along with the ownership experience detailed by the Car Confections YouTube channel, suggest some early teething problems. Whilst reviewers have been gushing in their praise, we'd likely wait six months to see if further issues unfold. Hyundai does do well in satisfaction surveys, however, while a generous five-year warranty in most markets is reassuring if you've already made up your mind. Aggregating the data of the many reviews for the Santa Fe so far, the vehicle scores 80%. For a breakdown of positive reviews online, check out the following channels along with car confections and the problems they encountered. As the hybrid drivetrains used feature a solid six-speed automatic with engines already in service on the Tucson and Kia Sorento, we'd opt for this drivetrain rather than the eight-speed dual clutch, which received poor reviews from consumer reports previously. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.